All right, guys. We are here with more Evil Within 2 gameplay. And I don't know what to think yet. I mean, the game is really good so far. But I've played 25 minutes of this game and haven't came across one jump scare or anything. And I know the beginning, you have to get into it and everything. Yeah, I understand that. But I am a bitch when it comes to these games. And you guys are going to see that later on in this series. And, I mean, on that note, let's go ahead and get right into it. So basically, Sebastian, the main character, went to... In a machine called STEM to find his daughter, Lily. And he went to his old detective room in Beacon. And went through a little looking glass thing. And now we're here, so. I mean, I'm not going to try and talk too much in this Baker. game, just so you guys can actually watch it and and everything, but yeah, I'm going to try not to talk that much during this game, but if you hear me scream like a little bitch, I'm sorry. Team leader. One bullet. Straight through the head. Anything else? Because they haven't even given me some kind of weapon yet, and that's what I'm waiting on. Okay, that's one of my worst fears, is a room with red lights. Someone tried to block the way out. Or in. Okay, before we go through there, let's go check and see if there's anything in this room. Because I really want a gun or something. Sadistic. Whoever did this must have enjoyed it. Open up the locker? No. Alright. I think that goes back in to the main room. Yeah, yeah. All right. Behind the bookcase we go. The places you don't want to go is, they make the game where you have to go to the places you don't want to go and that, I hate that so much.
hello? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, something you want to hear Who's every that? day. Answer a payphone and hear some creepy ass dude laughing at you. Yeah, going upstairs is always the best place to go. I want to go through there or go upstairs. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go through here first. Might as well. Oh my God! <laughs> hey, damn it! What's going on here? Man, I thought I was about to just walk through there and everything. Nope. This bitch popped up on the glass. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave her in there with whatever's in there with her. What the hell, man? What was that? Shit. RB, hold, enter, okay. Why in the hell did I, I just do that? Out of here. I made so much noise when I tried to sprint out. I don't know why I even did that. And we're back here again? Yeah, we're forced to go in the elevator with blood everywhere. Okay, that's another one of my worst fears is like, I don't, I don't know if any, if any of you have seen The Grudge, but I hate that noise that she makes. That is the worst noise 
I have ever heard, and I hate that noise. It freaks me out every time I hear that. Great! Oh. Please don't jump at me. Please don't jump at me. Please just let me walk through. Do my thing. Walk up to a camera. Oh, hell no. Don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Oh, of course, yeah. What the hell is that? I have to fight that thing? Oh my god. Oh my god, where am I going? Please don't be one of those things where you run, you sprint, and you trip and shit. Oh my god. a mouse oh yeah she didn't think twice about that shit There's the exit, and I wonder what the hell's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I hope he keeps the knife. Yeah, take that knife, bitch. Yeah. And I finally have a knife. What the fuck is Thank going on here? Gosh. Your health is critically low to... Okay, yeah, so basically your health regenerates to a certain amount, I guess. And now where am I? Okay, okay. That is another one of my worst fears. Yeah, I know I have a shit ton of fears, but every time I see a shower curtain... It's like, I wonder if there's someone standing behind them. I don't... It's a weird fear I have. Okay? Medical syringe. Yeah. 
Yeah. Did I use it? Nah. I'll, nah, I'll just wait. I'll use it when I absolutely have to. That's what I do. I don't want to just waste it for no reason. Navigate through the files. Yeah, I got the knife. What I'm talking about. So happy now. I feel so much more confident. And a gun. Oh, okay. A bonus. About to Where fuck some people up with a gun and a knife. Maybe this is the right place. Lily. I hope you're here. get myself into Kidman Sebastian where have you been we lost you I don't know but it sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town there's something bad happening in here Kidman Baker is dead there's a killer running around in here doing things that are it's like beacon all over again what the fuck did you just send me into for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Sebastian, it's just a small, quiet town. Yeah. I like being able to just click on the D-pad and pick Too a weapon. Quiet. Saves you so many times. Hello? Hey! She had to have heard me. Better check it out. This is like some Resident Evil 7 shit. Serious.
Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Yeah, I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Sebastian. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. Anything? Go ahead and head upstairs. Gunpowder. Explosive mixture, potassium, nitrate, sulfur. Okay, so I can okay. I can make ammo with this. Alright. Hell yeah. Yeah, I figured I couldn't break these ones. members some of them are still alive then damn but those things are everywhere need to get in there and squeeze that guy for info All right, guys. I think that's a good place to leave off. I will see you in part two of this series. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, leave a like. I'll see you guys later.